It's estimated that up to 80% of human diagnostics can be addressed using a tool like a portable ultrasound. The problem is that they're very difficult to use, and as a function of that, there's a lot of variability in terms of the interpretation and the analysis. My name is William King. I'm co-founder and CEO of Sight in Health. Sight in Health was founded by myself, William, our Chief Product Officer, Marius, a Head of Applied Sciences, Andreo, and Pablo, who's our Chief of AI. At Sight in Health, we've developed artificial intelligence or computer vision for portable ultrasound. What we're looking at is computer vision or machine to machine visioning. So what we've been able to do is develop a series of algorithms that allow us to guide a person on how to correctly capture a scan, secondly then identify regions of interest, and then do all of the segmentation, all of the analysis of the image itself. Heart disease is a great example. We focused on heart disease for our first use case, and we're looking at the carotid artery here in the neck. And what we're able to do in really just a couple of minutes is understand not just how the blood flows through the artery, but the thickness of the artery, the plasticity and pliability, and how the blood pumps through the artery, and then ultimately any plaque. There are two key things that we're working on right now. The first is the scientific side of the house. So we continue with retrospective studies, we're starting prospective studies, and really working very closely with the scientific and treatment communities. The second part of our business is how we go to market. And our goal is to democratize the use of portable ultrasound to people that historically maybe haven't had access or haven't had the confidence to be able to use these very powerful devices. So we're thinking about retail, we're thinking about phlebotomy labs, we're thinking about pharmacies, and so we're actively cultivating and developing partnerships on that commercial front. In the future, I hope that everyone will be able to benefit from the tremendous insights that ultrasound provides. When I say everyone, I mean literally eventually, Hopefully portable ultrasound will be in our personal homes. But before we get there, we hope that it will at least be in points where we go every day as consumers. Places like the pharmacy, the phlebotomy labs, outside of the clinic. My venture kick experience so far, I, I think I'll draw upon my California roots and say it's the bomb diggy. What I mean by that is it's been awesome. Uh, VentureKick has been supportive in a number of different ways. VentureKick has helped the company, not just in terms of articulation of the pitch, the value proposition, understanding the market and where we want to go, but really importantly, in connecting us with the community here in Switzerland, the investment community, other entrepreneurs, scientists, uh, and really ensuring that the company is supported in its journey and its path as it continues to grow. I think my advice for an entrepreneur would be twofold. The first is what I call follow the breadcrumb trail. And what I mean by that is simply just follow up. It's amazing how often somebody says, I have a friend who you should meet, or I know a person who does this particular thing. Take people up on their offers, meet them, ask for an introduction. It's amazing how many doors get opened and how many new adventures can be created. The second piece of advice I think is about resilience. Starting a company's hard. The right choice isn't always made 100% of the time. Sometimes crazy external things happen. And so it's really important to believe in oneself and really stick to the path. 